Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Wildcats have not only put together a nice winning streak, they're starting to play at a much higher level, and they've energized their entire campus. Now the question is, will they be able to handle everybody on campus patting them on the back, telling them how good they are, and telling them how they expect a big win in this one? That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Kentucky. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Foster has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game. Here we go, folks. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Florida's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense to just getting back and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. He scrambled. He's out to the 30, and he tackles him hard at the 30. About eight yards there on the scramble. That'll make it third and five. taken down behind the line. The Gators always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. Harmon awaiting the return. at the 45-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Out of bounds at the 47-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. They hand it off. He's tackled at about the 49. Gain of two yards. That'll bring up third and six. And they make the stop at the 41. Nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Man can't tack on any yardage. That's a gain of five on the play. That'll make it second and four. 40's Mike, 40's the Hey, watch the screen, watch the screen. Watch the screen. Check three, check three. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. 
Number 34 brings him down at the 34-yard line. That'll bring up third and two. Takes a handoff. Tackled for a loss. That is a loss of one yard on the play. That makes it fourth and four. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Kentucky is looking to go up by three. The kick is up. Not a very good attempt there by the kicker. No score here. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. to his tight end. Nothing doing. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 35. Got it, and brought down immediately. Number one on the tackle at the 41-yard line. Third down. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 47. Brought down around the 47-yard line. That makes it second and 10. He gets rid of this one. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Got it. And he goes down quickly. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. And down he goes at the 46-yard line. And the defense comes through. So far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Caught and big hit there to stop him. That's good for a game of two yards. That makes it second and eight. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Tackle made at midfield. Gain of two on the play. That'll bring up third and six. strike to the receiver and he's taken down right around the 24 yard line you know they did a great job here of not just getting past the first down marker but picking up some major yards on the play and he's tackled around the 24 yard line Gets out to around the 15. Gain of nine on the play. That'll make it 31. Mike 40, Mike 40, check that. He's coming. Check four, check four. And he 
just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. They come out on an empty backfield. He's under pressure. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. And they lose possession on down. You know, that was one of those situations where you have to go for it to try to get something going. Now they need a big play here from their defense. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Gains his way to the 23-yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. And he carried that one for a few yards. You know, when you have a guy that can grab five yards or so consistently, it sure takes some of the pressure off the passing game. He has some room. He's to the 40. And down he goes at the 45. That's good for a gain of 17 yards. First down. From their own 45-yard line, it's first down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll make it second and four. Makes it out to about the 39. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. It's first and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He goes out of bounds around the 25-yard line. The offense was pretty successful on that play there. That was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice gain and a first down. He's taken down at the 23. From the 23-yard line, second down. Tries to get around the corner. Makes his way out to about the 15. This is the ninth play of this drive. The 10, the 5, touchdown, Gators. This guy seems to make things happen no matter what kind of space he has to work with. All he needs is a little crease of daylight and forget about it. And he converts the extra point. A nine play, 83 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize the defense when they drive the ball down the field and a lot of the yards came on the ground. So the score now, 7-0. Tackle made at the 25-yard line. The Gators have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in a football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point, but just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, do not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. Slings it out there incomplete. Baker, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25. Mike 40, Mike 40. Ready. 
zips it to the back. Tackle at about the 25-yard line. and still completed it. He's knocked out of bounds around the 37-yard line. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. Florida leads 7-0. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Passes and it's almost picked off. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. They'll line it up again on third down. He makes it out to about the 41 yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. Fourth down. Cool. Back to return it. He's taken down at the 30 yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Florida up seven points. There was some movement on the line. False start, offense. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. First and 15 now after the penalty. throw to the tight end. They'll bring him down right around the 28-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Quick shot to the tight end, and he can't pull it in. So they run the same pass play again. Yeah, typically you'll see this when teams are having success with a particular player. They feel confident about a play's chances. From their own 28-yard line, it's third down. Takes it, and he's tackled short. It's a great play by the defense, but it really makes you wonder, was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. Townsend to punt. He makes it to the 45-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. They're stopped two yards behind the line. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. From their own 43-yard line. Second down. Throws incomplete. I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. They'll spread the field with five wide. Ready, 180. Gets it out in a hurry. The defender had it and then dropped it. Number six, the intended receiver on the play. That brings up fourth and 11. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. 
The Gators' game plan is just what we've been seeing through a couple of quarters now. Give this guy the football and let him ram it down the defense's throat and just keep giving it to him until he gets tired or the defense gets tired. Well, the offensive line, I also think, deserves a lot of credit. You know, the, the back is the star. He's been getting most of the yards and most of the attention, but he's not doing it alone. The offensive line's paving the way and opening this thing up, and, and the running back's taking advantage of it. They've had a great first half. And he's level at the 32. At the 32-yard line. That brings up second and one. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Florida is up by a touchdown. Just throws this one away. And he hits him hard at the 40-yard line. Number three brings him down at the 40-yard line. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 40. Three down, three down. Check 83. Ball's going to 83. Set him to fire. Fight. Go, go. He's got it out to his tight end. And he tackles him hard at the 39-yard line. Second and 11. It's second and 11. Ball on the 39 yard line. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. He chucks it downfield. Incomplete. Almost picked off. is back awaiting the punt. Tackle at the 27 yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Run there. That's a game of five on the play. That brings up second and five. He's tackled at the 35. Call it a gain of three yards. Third down. And he throws it away. Nothing clicking there. Let's see if they can make a few adjustments before their next series. Foster awaits the snap. He makes it to the 35-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Florida is up a score. He scrambles. And they make the stop at the 38. That's a game of three on the play. That makes it second and six. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down.
is incomplete. They couldn't pick up the first down, so they'll have to punt this one away. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Townsend is waiting for the snap. And he's tackled at the 36. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideout. Timmons was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 36-yard line, second down. And he's immediately tackled. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. Receiver brought down right around the 20. They've been stopped short down here the last two trips. He fires. Almost picked off. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Ready. He gets rid of this one. From the 20-yard line, third down. the sack. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out at practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. Kicks up. And he got it. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. 7-3, Florida. Kentucky kicked this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Florida is up four. Decent run here, right side. Game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He makes it out to about the 34-yard line. That'll make it third and one. Tackle made at the 37. The tackle. Gain of three on the play. That makes it first and ten. From their own 37-yard line. First down. He's out of bounds at the 41. That's good for a game of four yards. That'll make it second and seven. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. He's on the run. And he can't get away from the pressure.
So we're looking at another third down here. Fires back to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. Taylor, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and nine. Certainly they don't have the return on here. Oh, excellent punt. They'll bring him down at the 31. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He's taken down at about the 39-yard line. And he's taken down at the 46. That is just sound, fundamental football right there, making it look so easy. He goes out of bounds at the 49. That's good for a game of three yards. That makes it second and eight. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 49. I smell fear in that offense. Hey, go, Mike 40, Mike 40. Ready! Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Kentucky's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Gets it, he's in space. And down he goes at the 40. Quick throw. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's tackled around the three-yard line. And he throws it away. From the three-yard line. Second down. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Ready, line 80. Tackle at the six yard line. The Wildcats using their third and last timeout. It's the 11th play of the drive. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. I have a feeling this ball is going nowhere near the return man with this kickoff, most likely to end the half. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Florida is up one. Nice run up the middle. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. 7-6, Gators. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. 
People say college football is evolving as completely an offensive game. Boy, not this one. This one has that old school, hard nosed, tough feel to it. Yeah, and it's it's good. It's kind of it's kind of refreshing. I know the younger guys, you like all the points all the time, but it, it's fun to watch these kind of games because you see two defenses flying around. It looks like there's 12 or 13 guys on that side of the football making big plays, making big hits, holding the offenses down in a world where we have all the fast paced, up tempo, scoring points galore. It's good to see some defenses bow their necks and play some good, pretty good ball. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 23. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He steps out at the 32-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 35-yard line. receiver. He's tackled right around the 36-yard line. Brings him down the 36-yard line. Larry, Larry. That brings up second and nine. Quick strike to the receiver. Run down in the open field. sack on the play loss of six yards on the play that'll make it second and long they find themselves in a hole here after that sack at second and long Fights forward to about the 49. That's a gain of one on the play. That'll bring up third and long. Once and all, going deep. And they make the stop at about the 11. This play is number eight on the drive. And a quick throw. Touchdown, Wildcats. I like how the quarterback, the offensive line, and the receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. They're going to try for the two-point conversion. He's in for the conversion. An eight-play, 77-yard drive. And they come away with a two-point conversion. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. The score now, 14-7. He's to the 20. Across the 30. 
He gets hit out of bounds at the 44. Wildcats continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Call it a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's a gain of five on the play. First down. Two times, two times. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. No game. That makes it second and ten. From the 44-yard line. Second down. Gets to about the 41-yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That makes it 47. Makes the catch and look out. He's knocked out of bounds at the 32. Call it a gain of nine yards. That makes it first and ten. From the 32-yard line, it's first down. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. False start, offense. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. To that quicker brought down at the 35. Harmon on the tackle at the 35 yard line. That brings up second and 13. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 35 yard line. After a decent pickup, Taylor gets about four yards on the play. Third down. Here's the eighth play of the series. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. Man was the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. Fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. It's up, looks long enough. No good, he hooked it left. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Fires that quickly, incomplete. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. Kentucky is up seven. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. Tackle made at the 27-yard line. With the 
pass incomplete. The ball was underthrown. It was a good read. He just needs to find his rhythm back there and step and throw the football. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Quick throw to the tight end. He's taken down at the 14. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Davis with the tackle at the 10 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Here's a draw. He makes it to the nine. Makes the tackle. Gain of one yard. That'll make it 35. Kentucky is up by a touchdown. Caught end zone for the touchdown. And that one worked just like they draw it up, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, you're exactly right. Offensive line did a good job of detecting the quarterback. Good route by the receivers. Results, touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 26-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. run there. Breyer comes away with around five yards on that option keeper. That brings up second and five. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 31. Room around the corner. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. A yard, if that, on the quarterback keeper. He's got room to work. Steps out of bounds at the 42. That makes it first and ten. First down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Makes it out to about the 46. That's good for a gain of 12 yards. First down. He makes his way to about the 38. Held a gain of eight yards. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And he's level at the 41 yard line. hit immediately six on the play first down from the 35 yard line first down up the middle for a nice game 
Gain of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Check. Tight right. Tight right. Tight right. Go out there. Check the out there. Go down. Go down. He's at the 20. And he's taken down at the 12. That's a nice job by the quarterback to pitch the ball. And it got him a first down. That makes it first and 10. From the 12 yard line. First down. They bring the quarterback down. Loss of three on the play. That brings up second and 13. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. 21-7, Wildcats. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Nice run to the left there. Call it a gain of four yards. That'll bring up third and eight. This is the 12th play of this drive. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. Under heavy pressure. Pass right, running back's got it. And he's tackled at the nine. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Fires it out. Tackle at the 17. to the 30 and down he goes around the 31 yard line they go back to him on a quick throw they'll bring him down at the 40 yard line that brings up second and one. Williams, again, decent run here, right side. Game of six yards. First down. and he's got his man. He's tackled at the 46-yard line. That's a game of eight on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Hey, come on, Mike 40, Mike 40. 18, look at 18. Doubles, doubles, doubles. Get him! There was some movement on the line. False start, offense. That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. From their own 49-yard line, it's second down. Caught out in the open. 
And they make the stop at the 30. It's second and ten. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Check three, check three. I got you, pump. Ready. 180. He's out of bounds at about the 27 yard line. They get three yards on the play. That's a nice completion. But give the defense a lot of credit. They weren't fooled at all. They were able to hold him to a short game. rangy flanker every quarterback wants to be throwing to. He did well to make sure he had enough yardage to pick up the first down. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle made around the 14-yard line. That makes it second and six. up second and goal. They're at the six. Second down. Three down, three down. I got one, I got one, I got one. Mike Purdy. 180. And he is drilled at the 14-yard line. Followed a loss of eight yards on the play. That makes it third and goal. Here's play number 14 of this drive. Four down, four down. Mike 13, Mike 13. Ready, 180. Motion, wide, motion, 80. Motion, motion. He passes it. Swatted away. So fourth down coming up. And give credit to the defense there. They played very disciplined and were able to break up the pass. Fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. It's up, and he's got it. Foster has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Pressured and brought down. He has one job on passing situations. Get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Quick pass. He's taken down right around the 34. Game of 15 yards. That'll make it third and one. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Four down, four down. 
gets to about the 37-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. First down. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, check by 45, check by 45. Go. Yeah. 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 Caught, open field, and he's taken down at the 44. Gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Steps up into the pocket and they've got it. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Just under three to go in regulation. He really got a hold of that one. Harmon takes it to 25, and he's tackled the 37-yard line. Now, what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, this is really just one of those games where it's all coming together. He's making the right reads, he's delivering the football in rhythm, and the most important thing is he's playing with confidence. All of his success has led to their advantage on the scoreboard. The quarterback leads his squad back out. They got three on their last possession. And he tackles him hard at the 40. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 40-yard line. Second down. They hand it off. They'll drop it for a loss. That is a loss of one yard on the play. Third down. Larry, Larry. Let's eat it up. Check like 40. Check like 40. You don't want to go one another. Pick, pick, up, pick up the ball. Get it. Check 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 it. They go back to the run, and he'll be stopped in the backfield. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up fourth and nine. Poole is back deep to return the punt. Fields it at the 24. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. For Kentucky, they've been getting into the backfield quite a bit. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to it. It's been a very well-rounded effort for this entire team, not just the defense. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. We have less than a minute to go. That's a great tackle at the 42-yard line. Florida is going to take their first time out of the half. And Herbie, we got a guy down after that play. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Florida will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. They go with a run and he's 
one's going to be stopped short. Townsend awaits the snap. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. Twenty-four to seven, Wildcats. Seven. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon. <laughs>